Hi, Brad Ward, Ward's Auctions. It is 2021, it's January. By the time you're seeing this video, yeah, the bidding has already started for the January 24th, 2021, finger quotes, because that's when it closes, right? That would have normally been the live sale. Um, it's an awesome sale. I'm not gonna say awesome too many times, but I, I can't help it, because it's an awesome sale. And so bidding has started now. There'll be links below to that links to our website wardsauctions.com and we got about 700 lots and very eclectic lots of what i call man stuff you know so things like this signal lights and uh, telephones and whatnot like you just don't see that sort of thing this desk is pretty phenomenal hopefully the videos will will show you the depth of the carving <clears throat> it goes way inside there so you got this glass now the glass corner is broken off there um, but that just you know you can still use it unfortunately one day you're gonna have to uh, address that we're gonna start walking through the room it's gonna be a bit chaotic so bear with us uh, there's no sense trying to practice these videos and then do them that's just a waste of time but look at this retro sofa set sofa and chair that I think is original upholstery original condition it just looks like it's in fantastic condition and then there's mid-century modern pieces of furniture to go with it and then of course this this white uh, lacquered piece is new uh, but it looks very <laughs> I think it looks like an awesome little set here we'll, we'll do some some more additional um, still photos as well to show you some of the rooms uh, the, the room shots this log cabin uh, in the catalog it'll tell you what scale we think it is but you can see it's a pretty decent size it's illuminated so there's lighting inside there the room itself is like the, the building's probably a little bit too lit up to to really appreciate it but uh, very well done very impress impressive uh, set for for the grandkids or the kids or whatever uh, the retro sofa is a hide -a bed by the way quarter cut oak wash quarter cut oak wash down here this is a national time recorder this one is not necessarily working 100%. Um, it sort of tries to work, etc. as far as the clock goes. We don't know about the rest of it. Uh, but I don't think too many people are going to use it in their business. I think it's, but it's a really cool uh, looking and uh, good conversation piece. Cream separator actually has the manual to go with it, which is always kind of an extra little bonus. There's lots of watercolors and prints and so on. Cylinder desk with the pull-out writing surface. More artwork up here, lots of china. This is technically a sideboard, but I think we have it as two different lots. Lot number 19, no, it, yeah, 19 and 19A, two different lots. Clock here, again, it's trying to work, but not quite uh, cooperating. This set here, this is a chest on chest, goes, matches the table that's coming up, and you can just see it's just oozing with quality. It's just a fantastic uh, dining room set. Um, mission style book or not bookcase but um, uh, d uh, table here occasional table interesting look to it here's the table that goes along with that sideboard and the big heavy chairs there's eight of them you can see that that's a, a very substantial set there's an antique radio here we already have it sort of warmed up pretty neat it doesn't have all the matching knobs but definitely worth uh, putting a little bit of TLC into this gramophone here is is sort of working caveat to that so there we are cranked up The trouble is, of course, there's nothing to hold the horn that comes with it. It may not be the original horn. Of course, if I do that, I make it skip. So it's definitely a worthwhile project to get that one sorted out because it is trying to work. I miss the, miss the domes that are over there. Again, apologize for sort of the unscripted video. I shouldn't because they never are scripted. But look at these domes. It's always something you can find to put inside there, whether it's dolls or garden waste or whatever. Uh, the Midnight Black Wolf, very popular Robert Bateman print, so the limited edition here. This is actually called the Premier Edition. It's only at a 950, and then you get this extra bonus piece down there. Both of them signed by Robert Bateman. This very manly chair is a bit loose, not going to lie to you, recliner. Um, but definitely worth, again, putting a little bit of love into because I think it's very manly. Uh, there's a modern mission office pieces in the sale. There's a filing cabinet. They're made by Winners Only, which is a, a quality office furniture manufacturer. I believe it's in California. So there's a, there's a filing cabinet and there's two desks, uh, obviously out of the same home uh, that you'll come along. 
Oakcraft cylinder, or, or not cylinder, but roll top desk with the S curve in it. Lots of nice framed etchings and watercolors and prints. Uh, very impressive collection. Neat manly things like this. I don't know if I can say manly too many times, um, but just the accent light. There's a red one in it right now, uh, which is fun. Another Robert Bateman print in the double. Uh, again, well described on your catalog. Have a look at this mirror. Look at how fantastic that is. You can see, you, can, you know, me standing beside it, you really get to a, a, a sense of the size of it um, as opposed to a picture. Even then you can sort of tell the size and we do put the measurement on. It's hard to appreciate until you see it in person. And we are having a live viewing. Uh, so on January 22nd from 4 o'clock until 8 o'clock, uh, the COVID rules currently allow us to have a a live viewing and so that's the plan now if that changes then so be it and it's I think we're allowed 20 or so people in the building in addition to the staff at one time uh, here's the other uh, mission style double pedestal desk there there's a couple of virtually brand new office chairs in the sale here lots of nice occasional tables beautiful quarter cut oak on that one there uh, stuff a lamp with the original shade on it little antique dining set there porcelain florals. There is a uh, Remington typewriter, always fun. French style. This is not an antique desk, but it's a very impressive desk. But I do want to show you this, and I might screw this up because I didn't practice. But this does want to work. So if I put a penny in there, I might have to already, do I have to lift up on something? I kind of get it. You know, so maybe it's a bit sticky or whatever. So it is, it is sort of working, but this doesn't kind of go up by itself, you know. But you can see it's pretty gummed up and whatnot, um, but definitely a worthwhile project. And there is electrical to light it up and so on. Uh, the other mission style desk, it was all in one office, obviously. I shouldn't say obviously. Um, out of one uh, home office in St. Albert. Uh, but we've made it different lots because not everybody has the room for that. More prints. This was neat. It's got Canadian aviation on it. I'm just going to wiggle my way through. Vintage snow uh, snowshoes here. Uh, here's another cylinder gramophone. I mean, we don't get that many. So the fact that we have several in the sale um, is unusual. Oops. The sound comes out of this end. Oh, it's slowing down. I should have wound it up a bit more. Hang on. We've got to see if we can't get a better presentation for you there. <laughs> I sort of changed the speed while it was doing it. I think it went from too slow to too fast. Or too fast, this is low, too slow. Uh, Art Deco di or sideboard. There's mid-century modern in here, teak Danish. Look for your descriptions, because some are going to be Danish, some might be Canadian, etc. Uh, all came out of one house, one apartment. One, well, it was originally a house. Bedroom suite over here, same thing. Stained glass panels. I'm kind of just buzzing through, because I don't want it to be an hour-long video, but there's a lot to cover. Um, Mid-century again, this one is Danish. Uh, it's marked underneath. So Stephen will have put a picture of the mark on the website. So have a look at the website. Really low table, so we put the bears on here so we don't trip over the table. You'll see, those that are used to us, the carpet rack is full. And it's got everything from antique to virtually brand new to just sort of the sculpted kinds to everything. And we have more besides that are not in the rack. Uh, once upon a time, we didn't have the rack at all, so everything would have been on the floor. But we actually have some around the corner that we'll get to in a little while. Very impressive sideboard here, quarter cut oak again. I'm 99% sure this is original finish. Two of the poles are not original, though, you see down there. But part of the missing one is there. So you could possibly have them recast. There are hobbyists that do it. Some nice artwork again, nice originals. Some retro there, some dolls in nice little small lots, so you don't have to buy a whole bunch of them. Some oriental collectibles here. Another gramophone uh, needs some love. This one needs a little bit of love, but you don't see very many A, cylinders in a cabinet, and B, that are in oak and not walnut or mahogany. So, so it's worth paying attention to. Inside the cabinet, we've got 
triple horn whistle, uh, a train whistle. Look at the size of some of these lanterns much larger and more significant than, than much of the pieces, many of the pieces that we normally get. Soapstone figures, uh, trains, um, more oriental there, all kinds of stuff. And all, of course, um, nicely photographed on the website for you to have a peek at. Here we have a desk, not a desk, sorry, a um, sort of a bar server. I'm going to move this table out of the way here. So this opens all the way up. So does the other side. So you've doubled your top surface. Then you've got bottle storage, glasses storage, more bottle storage and glass storage, drawers. Um, fun piece, fun piece for sure. And that one folds all up. This table here is a monster. Uh, the lot number is somewhere, doesn't matter right now. The point of the story is there's a duplicate to it in this sale that's from a different house. Now I'm not sure what the chances are of that happening, but it happened. Um, this cabinet had a taxidermied fish in it that a member of the family had caught, and they wanted to keep that for sentimental reasons, but they, they just didn't have room because they're downsizing for the big cabinet. So this whole top lifts off, so you could use it for I mean, your own fish, um, you know, repurpose it into some sort of a display for, for something completely different. We've come full circle. We're back where we started, and we've, we've barely covered anything. Uh, we haven't even covered the middle part there. We're just going to carry on. Uh, the light is going to be annoying for the camera, and I apologize for that. These are Italian. These lacquer table or chairs. This is a quality modern set of one... 3.8 in the catalog, so have a look, and I think there's a maker name on the, on the uh, site. Two leaves are in it right now, and there's a glass protector on it for when the two leaves are in it. L lots of radios up there, uh, mostly projects, they're not working. So we don't have very much miscellaneous as far as shelf lots in the sale, but we do have a couple. Quarter cut oak, fall front desk, automatic supports coming out, so you don't have to remember to do that. Leaded panels up top, bedroom suite, modern furniture modern retro style furniture, uh, stacking bookcase with a leaded panel on, on there as well, plus the base on the top. So four sections, including one that is, is uh, leaded. Um, restored, these are plastic panels in here, most of them anyhow, um, so mostly for display, at least at this, uh, this juncture, but a very impressive looking piece for sure, well described in your catalog. Another virtually brand new quality office chair in the sale. This little selection here, uh, 480, 479, 477, these are actually all for a fundraiser, uh, well described in the catalog, and we're not charging them any commission. Now you're going to have to pay buyer's premium, and that's mainly because we don't know how to turn it off for certain lots. So I think, I don't know if you can or can't, but it's, it doesn't matter. We're not going to keep it, we're going to give it to the charity as well. So those little lot, they're all just in a row, five or six lots, right in a row, and then you can help support a little local charity. This is three pieces, so you don't have to panic about, in fact, it might even be four. I don't know if the center is one piece or not, but, but this is a piece, that's a piece, that's a piece. It helps you move it around, so very impressive. Um, wait for an update on this, because we don't have the combination for this safe right now. So hopefully by, by the time we close, we will have one. More Ormolu cabinets here. Uh, special attention to this one, 369, came in with this marble top. I'm assuming the marble top got wet and it shrunk and it doesn't fit. So uh, obviously that was a joke, but, um, but it's not the right top. And I called the consigner and I said, hey, is it possible you've got the right one sitting in your garage or something? And he's like, no, that's all we got. So I don't know what the story is behind that, but it seems a, bit, a little bit weird. I want to draw attention to a couple of pieces in here. There's sterling and there's silver plate within here. This little uh, egg cup set is silver plate, but look at this. And you have to come in person and see this. It's little boots, they're very substantial. There's your spoon. It's complete. It's got the, the galley or the rack or whatever. That's silver plate, like I said, but well worth your attention. And it all fits on there, um, like so. And the little spoons go in there, and you can carry it around, and it's really nice. It's part of this tray lot down here, but there's a, so, some sterling on there as well. These two baskets are both sterling. Very impressive pieces. Both sterling silver. 
So hopefully we got some sterling collectors. This little selection here has, uh, you know, the cigarette case is silver plate, but look at this little Wedgwood ring. I mean, when do you see this? This is lot 452 Alpha. And this little inkwell, British sterling hallmarks, I doubt the camera is going to cooperate. But more importantly, you know, it's a neat little inkwell. It's complete and you can secure it so that you could travel with it and not spill. And then you can screw it closed again. I mean, I'm not necessarily suggesting you go back to using that sort of a thing, but if you wanted to, that would be the one. And then there's some other oddities in there as well. Moving right along, let's carry on. We have some flatware. I actually don't remember if we have any sterling in the sale or if it's all just uh, silver plate. I shouldn't say just silver plate. Um, here I mentioned that we had carpets that couldn't fit on the rack. Here you go. This little pile over on this side is runners and the other one is small area rugs. And every one of them is worth your attention. So have a look and of course we have pictures on the website so that you can get a sense of color and all the sizes are on the website. I may as well start with this and then we'll go down that way. I, may, I really want to foc or point out this table and again I want you to rec recognize the size of it. Very substantial crank table. Uh, just you know the dimensions are on the website but you can tell just standing here how wide it is and then there's still this big huge two foot deep, uh, two foot wide um, leaf that could go in it. Fully skirted, would all match up. The chairs are barley twist, the table is not but they go very well together. Uh, very impressive set and then there's a set of china on top of it, Rural Dalton. I think it all goes as one lot. So well worth your attention. Hopefully all the local people will mask up and come to the viewing. Jewelry wise we've got uh, costume jewelry including things like Sherman and probably some carved pieces and some you know semi-precious and some faux pieces and whatnot. And then as we get into this little selection that's on the top here we do have some diamonds, we do have these, it was two of these rings matching two different lots. They're 18 karat, uh, never been uh, um, inscribed, so you could have, you know, whatever, twin brothers or whatever could do that. Um, nice antique locket, tri-gold on the top of it. I should, I should just point at it, and that way the cameraman knows what he, he's doing. And uh, but very nice there. We have appraisals for pieces. May as well pick on a couple. There's a Peridot appraised at 1600. There is a pink tourmaline appraised at 2100. These are rings. Uh, there's a cluster in ruby uh, appraised at 2300. Little opal and diamond pendant at 1600. Uh, very nice stuff as well. This here, so pristine, virtually unmolested case. Sherman, all the markings still in there. The tie tag still on there. And then the three piece, two earrings and a brooch all in there. That's fantastic. I mean, that is as brand new as you can get. Some hockey cards. There's a whole bunch of collectibles in the sale. Uh, those of you that follow the Facebook see all kinds of naysayers about them as well. The Gretzky in particular being the, the one everybody likes to talk about. People saying it's fake and whatnot. It's very much real. We took it to a, a local dealer that I've trusted for years. Had him look at it and say, he says, yeah, it's, that's fine. Now then the grading company is out of business. So you, you, you have to make your own determination on the grade. And then, uh, and most people, anybody who's going to buy an expensive card like that is going to get it regraded uh, with, um, you know, Beckett's or, or one of the, one of the current ones. And there's more sports stuff here, proper little vintage pieces. Everything license plate wise that's on this wall is in pairs so that you can use them, um, like in Alberta, you can use it then on your vintage car. So there's two of that one and two of that one. So everyone on here, and each one of those columns is a lot. So you get five or six sets per lot. Chalet glass, punch doorstop, oriental frame pieces, more lanterns, um, two matching portholes. I mean they've been painted a couple times but nice brass underneath there. You clean that paint off obviously without without sandpaper, without sandblasting. You don't want to ruin the patina but I'll bet you you finesse that off of there uh, MEK or stripper or something and you're gonna get a beautiful patina brass underneath there. My opinion uh, don't hold me to it especially if you try it and you're no good at it. <laughs> More lanterns, uh, ships, uh, ships lanterns, rail lanterns. So one at least has been electrified. I don't know which one it is offhand. We do try to point that out as we're going along. More portholes. 
these three, the, these two radios and this clock do work. And that would have been mentioned in your catalog as well. Again, as best we can, uh, more chalet or chalet style. This mid-century jewelry box, look at the color of this is what it would have been originally, because that's not sun faded. But it's still a very awesome rosewood, I presume, jewelry case. So the top drawer doesn't drawer because, of course, you have the top, the flip top. But then you do have two drawers all lined. Very nice. This is the same house as the, the, the bulk of the teak furniture that, that's in the other room. Big substantial pot. Industrial sewing machine. We never did plug that one in. Just uh, full disclosure. Don't know if that one works. Uh, Royal Crown Derby Mikado. Lots of decor ships. There's some neat walking sticks. This one might be the one that has a sterling collar on it. And it is lot number 330. Uh, I'm going a bit too fast for me to actually look for the marks with my cranky old eyes, getting older by the day. More vintage etchings, more lanterns, irons, lamps, howdy doody lunchbox. This particular cane here says fragile on it. Am I doing it right? Make sure I don't make a fool of myself. It's got a, a, a glass flask inside and that way you can take your um, your drink to the football game because you don't want to be without a drink at the football game. So that's kind of a neat piece. And let's go back up the other side. Blue Mountain Pottery, more lamps. Look at the gramophone, I'll be honest, I haven't tried that one. Uh, we'll see if we can get it tried up before the sale. Miner's Lant, or Helmet, look at this one. Look at that one. I mean, that is in very, very nice condition. Very impressed with that one. Comes with another lantern and some accessories. There's another cap in there, some china, uh, and irons that aren't just plain brass. This time you got you've got a bit of a, a nouveau look to them. There's vintage marbles. There's marbles on the other side too that we're not going to get down. But these are good, proper vintage marbles. We have them three in a row here. Full disclosure, we're going to move these so that we don't have three sitting here right here. So they'll be out of order a little bit. We might move one over there and one over there just so that they don't accidentally get moved around. So we'll do that before viewing time. This motion lamp, Niagara Falls, does work. You know, the little rotating inside. And this little uh, weather station works as well. So that's a nice little vintage set. We're going to not go down the other aisle as much as there is some cool stuff down there, including radios and grinders and and oak wall phones, uh, prints, chalet, because we have a whole other room to go into. Uh, for example, we're always saying that we don't take exercise equipment, but this thing is really expensive. Let's see if I can figure out how to turn it on. I did it a minute ago. Press enter. It's got a full display, like a graphic display. It's life fitness. Select workout. Do I have to use something? I just want it to sort of, no, there we go. So now it's just sort of walking. I can pick up the speed. I can incline it. And I'll be in good shape in no time. Plus you can put your hands on the grips here and it'll check your heart rate and whatever. You should be wearing this little doodad so that when you go flying off the back for the uh, just for laughs kind of videos, then, uh, then you get that. There's a watch here that ties to it somehow, but there's no battery in it or whatever, but it's not lighting up. Again, we will try. Now that we're getting caught up and we're getting cataloged and we're almost <laughs> done, seems like we're never done, um, then we are going to see if we can get that uh, working. And then we can update the description. Countryfied table and chairs, a solarium set. There's a Honda lawn or a Toro lawnmower here, works, powers gas powered so look at your description but it is self-drive and it works we've tested it uh, pop-up gazebo ice fishing tent mat, uh, cots over there brand new never been used you know the, the ice fishing thing never been used for sure if this thing was ever opened once or twice that was it this hot this Honda generator came out of the box over here somewhere or maybe didn't have a box I think it had a box but look at this stuff the it's still wrapped on it, never had any fuel in it. We fueled it up and fired up first pull. Seems the same as this Honda water pump. You know, somebody was buying it to be prepared 
and then uh, and then never needed it, never used it. So it's never been used. Rigid shop vac and air dryer never been used. Uh, there's a bolt flex here has been used, and another treadmill that that they, we've worked, we've used them. Well, bolt flex is bolt flex, but uh, the treadmill we fired that one up. It works as well. See if we can get a little little camera action there. And here we've got the have a heart animal trap here, it's still in the box. Water pumps, chop saws, I mean, you name it. And uh, we picked a horrible spot to end the video because we got no background. It doesn't matter though. Um, this is, it's just a really fun sale. Bidding has already started. Wardsauctions.com, live viewing Friday. February 22nd from 4 o'clock to 8 o'clock and again if there's any some emergency COVID change then that'll change but that's our plan we're not doing it by appointment it just we can only have 20 in the room based on our square footage plus the staff so but the last year since all this that's been lots you space it out and we haven't had big huge rushes because people have been a bit uh, standoffish so the uh, the address is 11802145 Street Northwest Edmonton wardsauctions.com is the website the bidding has started. Links are right from the website. Do it that way. Our office phone number, 780-451-4549. And whatever else I've forgotten, I apologize. Maybe we'll, if we've forgotten something, we'll put it in the verbiage below. But by all means, uh, have a look and just come to the sale and look at the galleries and bid and whatever. Thanks for watching.